Right, Strady says it is the first of the sub Sundays. Now, I've got all the pumps now to try and review, get through. Airbank, Old Faithful, it's coming out number one. I was going to start sub Sunday with the Outdoor Master, uh, but I want to do a few more checks on that. I want to get all the details to you and bring it to you in one solid review. The Flex Tail Light. Uh, confused the heck out of me earlier because the manual said it had a battery and it doesn't. Anyway, we're here for whatever the hell this is. It's a sup rechargeable pump by some unknown brand. Inflate anywhere, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> we're just going to have a look at it. And this is going to be the unboxing. The tests of it will actually come later because I like to do it in two parts so it's not a 15 minute epic even though I'm waffling on now. And I want to get it fully charged up and all that business. So let's roll the splash. Okay, we're back. And here it is. It's the Ton Sim Sup Air something. Oh, without battery, it says. Okay. So this was uh, given to me by a good friend of mine to review. Um, paddle boards inflator pump. Uh oh, that's interesting. It's a two-pin screw-on adapter. I've not seen adapters like that for sup pumps outside. I've got an uh, EUC electric unicycle down there outside of an EUC. Right. Okay. Uh, anything hiding in the bottom? No. Okay. It's small. It's plasticky. Um, power supply, 12 volt car power. Uh, no stats on here. It is very, very bare bones. Now, I'm recording this at 6 p.m., Sunday the 7th. I'm hoping to start up Sundays today. Uh, but if this hasn't got a battery in it, then there's not going to be much to talk about. And uh, we'll have to wait till next week. So here goes. Nah. <laughs> it's um nah. uh <clears throat> rechargeable pump um <clears throat> oh yeah it's on the box so <sighs> flextail did the same um with the um max sub pump light the manual says it's got a battery this one says rechargeable pump and i just noticed when spinning the box round, this one is super battery capacity for long endurance without battery right so there will be links down below for this but this one um it is something to be wary of when you are buying these so I guess this is more a public service announcement than um, a review. Uh, let's just see what the display is like whilst we're here. We will be sending this out on Sub Sunday. But yeah, just, just be extra careful when you are buying them that um, <laughs> they do share similar boxes. Just remember that, guys. Ah, right, here we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Only goes up to 15 PSI.
Right, we've we've we're, we're getting all kinds of conflicting messages here. It says max twenty psi. Um, hopefully this comes through. Oh no, it goes up now. It just was stuck earlier and wouldn't go to twenty. Oh, it's just touch. All right, okay. Oh, that's quite nice. All right, yeah, I was trying to press them really hard. It's not that bad. Um, there we go. Yeah, it does 20. It's not got a battery. It's just a sub pump. So it's not the most exciting way to start Sub Sunday, my new thing where I'll be putting out content every Sunday for Sub and Tech Tuesdays. But it is something to bear in mind when you do buy one of these the manual will say it's got a battery it's all pretty much it's similar to the flex tail it's a shame um i was looking forward to getting it charged up because it says rechargeable pump on it but it just uses the same boxes so public service announcement for the first sub sunday uh, i will be testing this seeing how long it takes i will try and dig out a Amazon link. Uh, if I can't find an Amazon link, I will still post this video just so you just keep an eye out and make sure you read uh, the descriptions and make sure you get one with a battery or get it from Amazon and send it back. All right, guys, you lot take care and we'll catch you for the next one.